Hello, boys and girls. In this video, <clears throat> we are going to look at, <clears throat> excuse me, how we can take the information on our graphic organizer and use it to write a really good paragraph. So first, I'm going to share with you our graphic organizer, maybe. Okay, so here is our example graphic organizer that we were working on in the last video. And we have our information that we have written about Nina. Now we're gonna take this information and we're gonna expand on it a little bit and turn it into a paragraph. So let's take a look at how one possible way to do that. So I'm gonna stop sharing this one with you. <clears throat> And I'm going to share an example that I wrote for you. All right, so you should be seeing the example answer to question 11. Okay, so we're answering this question, how are Nina and Jane alike at the beginning of the passages? How are they alike at the end? So I said Nina from the story Singing Out and Jaden from the story New Kid at School are alike in some ways. So that's my introduction sentence that came from my graphic organizer. Okay, I said Nina feels nervous about singing in front of people at the beginning of her story. Her music teacher helps her overcome her nerves by telling her to close her eyes and pretend she is alone. So that was a detail I added that was not in my graphic organizer. So I wanted to show my readers how she overcame her nerves. And by the end, Nina feels relieved and happy. Then I said, I can tell that is how she felt. This is my text evidence. Because the story says Nina let out a big sigh and smiled happily. Singing in front of people wasn't so bad after all. Okay. Then you're going to write your paragraph about Jaden and then add your including sentence at the end. Okay. So I am going to let you take the things you wrote in your graphic organizer and write your paragraph about Jaden. Hey, you're welcome to write your own paragraph about Nina, or you're welcome to just copy mine, either way. Okay, so this will be a graded assignment, but I am keeping in mind that this is the first time we have done this. And you will have to type this into the box that is at the end of your weekly assessment for the answer to number 11. Okay, so remember to use capital letters and punctuation. Okay, so enjoy writing can be a very enjoyable experience i know i enjoy it and make sure that you reread everything you write to make sure that it makes sense because sometimes when we're writing things we know what's in our head and so it makes sense to us but someone who doesn't know what's in our head we didn't really explain everything in the writing and so they don't get it so it's a good idea to reread it make sure that somebody who didn't know your thoughts that you were thinking understands everything that you wrote. All right, good luck, have fun. I know that's a lot of videos this time, but I wanted to give you as much help as I could because this can be kind of intimidating. All right, have fun, see you later.